Well, forgiveness is a big subject, and it, uh, it took on a very personal dimension back in 1974. I um, stumbled through my Christian life from the age of 11 when I became a Christian to the age 20, uh, not knowing anything about the Holy Spirit because I was not taught. It was not known in the churches I was attending in those teenage years. It wasn't until I was 20 I was invited to a youth conference with some wise young people and I heard about the Holy Spirit for the first time. And uh, I uh, met him in, his, in the fullness of the Holy Spirit at age 20. About that same time, I was, um, became concerned about my father. My father was always around, but he never really communicated with us. He always communicated with us through our mother. But I always knew my father was not living for God because he was always first man out of church Sunday morning into his car and uh, we all knew there was something wrong with dad but nobody knew what was wrong with dad. And we all knew that he had a strong Christian family, Christian parents, a Christian sister, but he was not there in the Christian life. But we knew that uh, we used to play games with us, us boys, he used to play chess and checkers with us. And, when he got into trouble in a chess game, he would. We all knew that when he started to whistle, he was in trouble. And he would whistle when the roll was called up yonder. So we knew there was something in his background. Well, I got into um, a conference back in 1971 or two with my friend Rex Boda, and we had heard. Bill Bright speak on the transfer of concepts of Campus Crusade back in those days. And he talked that night about loving by faith. And his line was that loving by faith is the answer to restoring broken relationships with other people. And so he got my attention with that statement because I left behind in Columbia a spiritual son who had turned against me. I was concerned about him. I was concerned about my father. So I started loving by faith my father for the next year. And then my father, we were down in California for a year studying, and he was coming down with my mother to visit us for Christmas in 1974. And so I decided I would talk to my father about a spiritual life for the first time in my life. So on Sunday afternoon, I said to him, Dad, I've been a missionary. I have been going around talking to people about their spiritual condition, but I've never talked to you about it. And I want to ask you if you're trusting Christ as your personal Savior. And that afternoon, my, my father, for the first time probably in 35 years, opened up his life to me and told me a story and he told me how he was a Christian, had received Christ as a young man, had memorized scripture, had been baptized. And then he really blew me over and he said, you know, before I was married, God told me I would get married, I would have a family. And one of my mission, one of my children would be a missionary. And I was that son. I was 42. He was 74. And he went on telling me the sad story how he said, I'm trusting Christ as my Savior, no question about that, but I've never been able to beat the problem of bitterness. He told me how somehow he was promised the will as the only son. He was promised the will, the farm. Never got the farm, somebody changed the will. And he, and he at that point turned bitter. He lived with bitterness for 35, 40 years. And that was his problem. So that day he unloaded a great load, burden of bitterness from his life, and I wish I'd gotten to him sooner. But forgiveness is a marvelous thing when people get hung up on bitterness. So that's what I mean by 
It's been this true, the loving by faith and seeing broken relationships healed.